it's the Crap Brothers here. I'm Chris. And I'm Martin. And we're here with our own mob of red kangaroos. Check out those springy legs. That's what gives the red kangaroo his incredible jump. Let's see how we measure up. First off, the long jump. Ready, Martin? Here it goes. Nice. Let's see what you got. Seven feet. Not bad. It's not bad. Pretty good, I think. <laughs> For a joey, maybe. But an adult male kangaroo can jump this far. 25 feet, about eight meters. That's over three times further than the average human can jump. Average. Who are you calling average? <laughs> All right, time for the high jump. Yeah. For Chris to be able to jump as high as a kangaroo, he's gonna have to jump six feet or almost two meters. That's over me and high enough to touch that target. Ready for this? Hey, wait a second, no way, you're disqualified. You can't use a trampoline to jump like a kangaroo. It's the only way people can do it. We just don't have the bounce in our jump that a kangaroo does. Woo! Yeah, it's amazing what kangaroos can do with those springy legs. From that hopping power to those incredible kickboxing matches. Imagine if we could leap like kangaroos and join the mob. What if? From the oceans to the trees The brothers crack are going places You never get to see Hanging with the creature friends Get ready, it's the hour We're gonna see some animals today With creature power Terra VX, engaging hydroglide water wheels. A big gully can't stop the Criteria either. Engaging turbo booster. I think the Criteria VX is my favorite ride in the Australian Outback. When you're looking for a group of red kangaroos, all terrain is the way to go, bro. You got that right, dude. I can't wait to see them leap 40 feet. That's like jumping the length of a school bus. Not even the Kriterra can do that. And I can't wait to see them go 35 miles per hour. The Kriterra can do that. Yeah, we're up to kangaroo speed, Martin. <laughs> What's with the weird laugh? Wasn't me. Sounded just like an Australian kookaburra bird. <laughs> That's because it's the cool new kookaburra horn of Eva design. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. Okay, you can stop honking now. I only honked once. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> looks like the horn attracted a real one. <laughs> All right, we know it's your turf, kookaburra. We're moving on. Whoa, we found them. Red kangaroos. Yeah, the males are red, but check out the females. Female red kangaroos are blue. Be out in a second. I'm setting up the digital measuring meter so I can get the distance of their leaps. So, Chris, how many roos does it take to hop over your head before you look up? Huh? <gasps> Three! Whoa, got it! That last one just leaped 39 feet. That's about one foot shy of the max jump distance of the red kangaroo, the greatest jumpers in the creature world. Incredible. I'm going to add that leg power to your creature power suits. Cool. Jumping over and out. Hey, you might be small, but I think that last hop was almost two feet high. One foot, four inches to be exact. I'm going to call you Hopster. So you want to take me on, huh? <laughs> You're a tough little guy, aren't you? Oh, it's got to practice. For a kangaroo, kickboxing is as important as breathing and eating because... <gasps> Ooh, nice one, Hopster. He got you good, Martin. Hey, Hopster, where are you going? We didn't even finish round one. <laughs> Probably didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> now, here's what kickboxing is all about. One male roo saying to the other, I'm tougher than you. So, for kangaroos, the best kickboxer gets to be the top roo of the mob. 
I wouldn't go near that. One kick from those powerful hind legs could cause a serious stomach ache. Oh! It's a good thing kangaroos have an extra thick layer of skin on their belly to absorb blows like that one. Good luck, Challenger. If you win, you'll take over as Ruboss. Oh, and the Ruboss wins and stays head of the mob. Hey, where'd Hopster go? I want to play with him again. Yeah, he's definitely more your speed, Martin. <laughs> hey, Hopster, I'm over here. Ah. I knew you'd like me, buddy. Hey, you want to play hopscotch? <laughs> wow, looks like he'd rather play keep away with our keys. Two can play at this game. Hey, get back here with those keys. He went that way, Martin. Whoa, hey, now he's going that way. Oh, now he wants to play hide and seek inside his mom's pouch. <laughs> he might be a quick little guy, but I know where you're hiding, Hopster. <gasps> Uh-oh, huh? this could be a problem. Relax, dude. I know exactly where Hopster is hiding with our keys. Oh, yeah? Where? <gasps> uh, can I get back to you on that? Hmm. No problem here, Ruboss. Just a little thing with keys. Nothing to worry about. Chris, I think Hopster and our keys are in that one. Uh, sort of. Kind of. Maybe. No, he's definitely in that one. Or not? Hmm. <laughs> I think Hopster is in the pouch three over to the left. Which is now the pouch five over to the right. I think he's in the pouch of that really big red one. Hmm? That's a guy, Kangaroo Jimmy. They don't have pouches. Probably for the same reason I don't want to carry my mom's purse. Okay, crew. Guessing game is over. I'm 99.9% .9 positive the keys are in this one. <gasps> That's not Hofstra. Whoever he is, he sure got a kick out of you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Keep cool, Brothers Crap. I'll look for the spare keys for the Createra VX. Yikes! You've got that right, Jimmy. Red Kangaroo's kickboxing kicks are powerful enough to break ribs. These suits are sure gonna pack a lot of kick. I'll check out those females over there. Whoa! Hello, Ruboss. Really big red kangaroo. How's it going? I'll try to distract him while you look for the keys. But hurry. I'm on it. Hopster, here I come. Uh-oh. Red kangaroos stand tall to show their size, strength, and confidence. They usually do it as a challenge. Uh, you're not challenging me to a fight, are you, Mr. Ruboss? Uh-oh. Ritual number two. Chest scratching. Kangaroos usually do this before a kickboxing match. Hurry, Martin. I can't stall the Ruboss for much longer. Uh, that's not Hopster. And that's not Hopster. That's not Hopster. It's definitely not these three, Chris. Okay, you three, don't move. What? What? I told you not to move. Oh, kangaroos just don't understand English. All right, Hopster, where are you? Uh, Martin, where are you? And where are those keys? Is that you, Hopster? No, wait, no. There you are. Uh, no, that's not him. No bits here. Hopster! Sorry, Hopster, but you can't drive yet. Chris, I found Hopster, and I got our keys! Woohoo! Way to go, bro! That plan worked even better than I expected. Oh. 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 That definitely wasn't part of the plan. That brew will have to kick me a lot harder than that if he wants to show me who's boss. Yeah, Hopster is a tricky little brew, but I've got them all figured out. Ah, who am I kidding? Kangaroos have a serious kick. Who am I kidding? Hopster totally tricked me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We catch the first bus out of here? No. We get the kangaroo disc from Aviva and use our creature power suits to join right in with the mob. If we're more rude like I can search the pouches easier, and you'll be able to distract Ruboss for longer without getting walloped. Now you're thinking what I'm thinking. Hey, Aviva, come in. How's that Rusoft we're coming for our suits? And could you add some of that extra thick kangaroo stomach padding? Consider it done, CK. I can't believe how Roos use their tail as a kickstand so they can throw a powerful kick with both feet. I can. So here's the update on the spare Createra keys, Brothers Crap. Martin lost the first set in a snowdrift. Chris lost the second set in a mud wallow. And the third set was snatched by a monkey. Oh, I never saw that monkey coming. Lucky that mud wallow didn't swallow me up, too. Hey, Chris, you should try this move if you want to... <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure I didn't want to do that. <laughs> you okay, Mr. Z? Me? Oh, I'm way fine. But I think I'll leave the profession of boxing to the professionals. Okay, Jimmy, we're ready to teleport the guys the kangaroo-inspired discs. Zippity zip zap pow! <laughs> Got it! Okay. So all we need to do now is touch a Roo and activate the creature power suits. I can't wait to get some real Roo kick in these legs. Hot I'm so psyched to ride around in a pouch. <laughs> and find the keys. Oh, yeah, yeah, and find the keys, right. Wish me luck. Wish me more luck. I'm up against the Roo boss. <gasps> hey, Hopster. If you won't give me back the keys, at least let's high five so I can activate my suit. what I have in mind, but oh, it'll work. Activate. <laughs> Woo! Wow! <laughs> Hippity hop! Hoppity hip! <laughs> I gotta get used to my new bouncing legs. Wow! <laughs> Okay, Rubus, ready to take one for the team. Right on the button if you don't mind. Oh. Yep, that's right. There's a new red Roo in town. Hang on, Hopster. Let's go over to your house and find those keys. Okay, so how do you do it? You lean back on the tail, then kick with both feet. So all I need to do is balance myself on it, then jump in the air and kick my opponent in the stomach. Got it. He oh! Oh, I gotta get used to having my own kickstand. Uh-oh. I know these kickboxing matches can last a while, so I hope he goes easy on me. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Ah. also use their arms to overtake each other. But we have the same arm strength, so you can't beat me in an arm wrestle. I hope. How's it going with those keys? Come on, please let me in. I know I'm not your Joey, but I'm just trying to find our keys. Right, kangaroos have pouch string muscles, so the mom can decide when to let the Joey in and out. No keys here. Hey, but thanks for letting me check. I'm really nice once you get to know me, Brew Boss. Whoa. Hey, Chris, I'm in. Oh, it must be nice to have a cozy little pouch to live in for the first six months of your life. Then, the next three months, you slowly move out. And way before your first birthday, you're pretty much on your own. But you still stay close to mom, just in case you're in danger. Uh-oh. No, the pouch walls are closing in. Oh, please don't toss me. Please don't toss me. I know I'm older than a year, but I've only been a Roo for a few minutes. Oh. Oh. oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. Hey, Chris, still no keys on my end. You hanging in there? No worries, bro. I'm getting this Roo kickboxing thing down better than I thought. Oh. Oh. Scratch that. Still need practice. Kangaroo Predator. Martin. Hide! But you're right! Hit the first sign of danger! Joey's like me, head right to the safety of a pouch! I better find one fast! A wedge-tailed eagle! Pouch! Here I come! Look out! Save you, bro! Whoa, you really are a giant. That must be an eight-foot wingspan. Hey, careful with those curvy talons. Uh, I can hop ten feet in the air, bro, but you're way higher than that. Oh! Aviva, come in. Martin's been snatched by wedge-tailed eagle. Where's it taking him, CK? Just somewhere peaceful. Where he can eat him! <laughs> Look, I know these talons are powerful enough to crush a coconut. What? I'm just a crat in a roo suit. So, can you loosen your grip a little, Mr. Wedgie? Guess not, huh? Hey, I've got a joke for you. What did the fake Joey say to the wedge-tailed eagle? Give up? 
Let go of me! Ah! Ah! Slow down, Martin! Gravity doesn't work that way! Ah! Hmm. Activate kangaroo couch power! Coming in for a crash landing! Help! I got you! I gotcha! Nice catch, Chris. Thanks, Martin. Couldn't have done it without my new pouch. Hmm. Either the eagle realized I wasn't a real Joey, or he didn't like my joke. Either way, whew. I'm just glad you're okay, bro. It's Hopster with our keys. Let's follow him. Okay, got him where we want him. Let's close in on that pouch. Sounds like we're getting a thunderstorm. Or not. Uh, Martin, don't male kangaroos use foot stomping to make the mob aware of danger? Yeah, some males even act as guards to watch out for predators. I hope Mr. Wedgie hasn't come back to eat me. Huh? Wedge-tailed eagles don't help. Dingo! Danger is right! Dingoes are the other main predator of red kangaroos! Dingoes might be dogs, but they're wild dogs, and they have the stamina to chase red roos over long distances. What do we do? Let's follow the mob as they dodge the dingo. Hopefully, they'll know how to lose this guy. And maybe we'll hear the keys jingling in their pouches and find them. Well, that's the craziest idea I ever heard. Hey, but I like crazy ideas, don't I? Yup. And what other choice do we have? To the key rescue! Chris, wait up! I don't have strong hind legs. I can't leave as fast as you. Oh, yeah. Joey's aren't as quick as adult kangaroos. Hop in. Hop. Was that a jingle? Negative. Was that? No. I think it was my feet flopping in the pouch. Hang on, Martin. Forget about hanging on. I'm going to hang in. Kangaroos are faster than dingoes, but dingoes have more stamina and can run longer. He's gaining on us. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Hopster, it's you. Oh, you're safe. <laughs> and we found our keys. Oh, no. The Rue boss is heading to the waterhole with the dingo right on his tail. Let's go. Believe me, that Rue boss is tough. He'll be okay. I hope. Whoa. The Rue boss is trying to grab the dingo with his arms. It looks like he's trying to dunk him. He's overpowering the dingo by holding him underwater. This is unbelievable. Kangaroos actually go to the water and try to drown dingoes to defend themselves. He did it, Chris. The Roo boss saved himself from the dingo. Oh. And the dingo got away. But I have a feeling he won't be back anytime soon. Way to go, Roo boss. Whoa. Kangaroos have an amazing anti-predator defense. They're off. Oh, and so is Hopster with our keys. Oh, yeah, looks like it. And I'm too tired to hop home. Oh, Viva, come in. We give up. And we need you to pick us up. And please bring the towing line so we can get the Kritera back to the HQ. We're on our way, guys. I can't believe we'll never drive the Kritera VX again. No more driving as fast as a Roo leaps. Oh. No more driving up mountains on a 90-degree angle. On oh, the way it handled itself over rocks and through streams. I'm going to miss it. Not as much as I will. <gasps> Aviva's the horn! In the Cretera! Somebody's in the Cretera, Aviva! Hang tight! Ah, it was Hopster honking it! <laughs> the keys! Yeah! See ya, buddy! Aviva, we found the keys to the Cretera! Yeah, and after this adventure, we're making lots of extra keys. <laughs> well, I'm glad that dingo didn't hurt the Roo boss. Boy, did that Roo have serious kick. You held him off pretty good, Chris. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Bet you couldn't take me on, though. Is that a challenge, Joey boy? Uh, guys, the Cretera! Oh, no! We may have found the keys, but we lost the Cretera! <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroos have lots of really cool behaviors that keep the mob together and strong. Yeah, and that kangaroo kickboxing is serious stuff. If you're a young Joey, you have to know exactly what you're doing if you're ever going to step into a challenge with a big male roo. 
First, the challenge posture. Now to do that, you stand up all big and tough, as tall as you can, and then you scratch your chest. And that's telling the other guys, I'm big, I'm tough, and I'm ready to take you on. And if the other kangaroo takes the challenge, he approaches his opponent, and the kickboxing match is on. Both kangaroos stand on their toes, dancing around like boxers looking for an opening. The kangaroo uses his arms and paws to grapple and grab at his opponent. And as a defense, he leans his head way back to protect his eyes. Oh, oh, you're strong. Look at that chest, too, huh? You got the moves. <laughs> the whole time, the kangaroos are looking for a chance to make those powerful kicks to the belly. They lean back on that tail like a kickstand and launch the powerful double kick. And kangaroos have extra padding on their bellies to protect themselves so they don't get hurt by the kicks. Eventually, a kangaroo will get tired and decide he's had enough. And that's kickboxing kangaroo style. Hey, check out my moves. Pretty good, huh? And that's not all I've got. The knockout double kick. Ah, uh, Chris, I think he thinks we want to kickbox. Oh, no, buddy. We were just going through the moves. We weren't challenging you or anything. We, we, we know you're the boss. We were just playing around. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you're the boss. We give. Oh, what a wallop. Kangaroos are definitely the undisputed kickboxing champions of the world. Oh, yeah. And a really cool creature. See you on the creature trail. Oh. oh. Whew, he really got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a monarch butterfly. When you look closely at animals, you notice all sorts of things you never saw before. Amazing patterns. White dots. These black veins. I love the white dots on the body. And if you look real close, you can see they have big black eyes. An awesome butterfly. A lynx kitten. Lynx are wildcats that are snowshoe hare hunting specialists, and they have the features to do it. Look at these paws. They're already huge. As adults, lynx have massive, massive paws like snowshoes, and that helps them walk through the snow so they don't sink down. They can walk right above the snow as they're hunting the snowshoe hares. <laughs>